Hello and welcome back to another command block tutorial video. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make personal scoreboards that can display the scores of individual players so in a way that only they can see. So to start off, we're going to be using the title raw commands, which if you guys haven't used it before, it is very similar to the tell raw command in the way that it works. So here's just the first example. We are using an execute commands and then a title raw. We're putting it in the action bar, and then we have a couple of arguments. So you can, guys can see, in the second line here, it says raw text has a brace, which by the way, don't use parentheses, not these, use these. But basically we have the word raw text, which is going to explain what's happening, followed by a colon, and there's a semicolon, and then brackets. So the brackets open up the different types of arguments that we can put into the command. The first type of argument you see here is simply a text argument. So we have in quotation marks, we have the word text, then we have the word colon, or then we have the colon, then space, and then the actual text that we want to display. Then we end the quotation mark, put an end brace on, put a comma. After the comma, we can make a different argument. So the next argument we're going to make is a selector argument. And this, if you guys have used selectors before, I have a whole detailed tutorial if you guys are not knowing how to use selectors. However, you basically put in an entity selector here, and then the text that it will display is whatever entity selector you put in here. So when I turn this on, you guys will see right above my hotbar, it says the player, which is the text that I told it to input, and then myself, which is Guppy Duck, because I put at s, and this is in an execute command, so because the second argument is formatted to be a select argument, it's just going to display my name. Now for the next argument that we have, we're going to be using a score. So you guys can see this is almost exactly the same command. We have the raw text, then we have the text that says money, but then we have this score argument. One thing you'll notice about the score argument is that we have an opening brace, the word score, and then we have a colon and then more parentheses. You also notice at the end that we have two parentheses at the end instead of just one. That is important. You, for every opening bracket, you need an end bracket. For any opening brace, you need an end brace. They all need to line up. Additionally, one thing you'll, need, you'll notice is that between the arguments, so between text and score, we will always have a comma to separate them. So, but basically, the way this works is we have score saying, hey, this is going to be a score argument. Then we're saying, okay, the name of the entity. So this is going to be checking for the score of myself. And then the scoreboard objective is going to be money. Now, just for the sake of argument, I've already given myself, oh, I think, like $100. So when I turn this on, boom, you will see that is going to display the actual scoreboard value that I have. Now, if I were to change the scoreboard value that I have, let's say 150. You'll see the display updates automatically to whatever the scoreboard is. So you can display any number you want and it will automatically update no matter what the number is. I can make it some really absurd number. Boom. It's always going to be displaying my money in this way. And if there's another player on and they only have 20 bucks, for them, it's only going to display 20 bucks and it's going to basically give you a personalized scoreboard. Now, you can also combine these in different ways. So, in this example, it's a little big, and I understand it looks like a mess of words, but you just have to kind of break it down into the little pieces. So, once again, we start off at the very beginning, of, in the second line, we have an execute at the top, then we have the raw text to tell you, hey, there's gonna be text following this. Then we're just gonna be putting text, text is going to say player then after that we're going to be choosing the selector so it's the same selector argument i used before just myself then after that we have text and we have a bunch of spaces in here we have money and that's just going to print because it's text it's going to print exactly what's in these quotation marks then we have the same score argument they used before so we say score tell you what it is we have name here and then we use whatever entity that we're trying to choose then we have the objective and then the name, just the word objective here, and then the name of the scoreboard objective here. And then the most important thing here is you guys see I have these brackets and braces at the end. Always make sure that there's an equal amount of opening and closed ones. You can see in the middle of every line, except for the first and the last, that 
there's always an equal number of braces in between. Like at the beginning, if there's two, you can see we have two at the end here. It's because we have one here and one here. So it balances out. If you look up here, we have in this line, we have one here and one here. It balances out, it's closing what it started. Now you can see in the very first line, however, we have an open brace and an open bracket. So at the end, we need a closed brace and a closed bracket to end it off. The other important thing to remember is that between every argument, you want to have a comma. Not if it's the last one, but if you have more than one argument, you want a comma between each one, similar to using selectors in an entity argument. I understand this might be kind of confusing if you guys are kind of new to commands and just coding in general. There's a lot of syntax that needs to be done exactly right. So if you guys are struggling, if you guys are new to this, probably just copy exactly what you see here and then modify it to your needs and then try to work it out from there. But you guys can see when I turn this on, it's going to display my name and then it's going to display how much money that I have. And once again, just to show you, it's going to change no matter what I set my money to. So it's a very dynamic system. And finally, you can see this command is going to display exactly the same as this one. I simply formatted it in the sense that I took all the extra lines out of it. Instead of making a different line for each argument, which I think is easier to see, I just put it all together in the technically the simplest form. So once again, we're starting with raw text. Then we have a text argument in these set of braces. Then we have a select argument in these set of braces, separated by a comma, a text argument here, and then a score argument here. Now, just final reminder, when you guys are using the score argument, you have the word name here, it's always gonna be name. Then you have the entity that you are trying to get the scoreboard of. Then you have the word objective here, it's always gonna be objective. Then you have the name of the objective here. In this case, it's money. And that's about it. It is kind of confusing to get all the syntax just right. I will leave a uh, version that you can copy in the description to make sure you guys have something that you can copy the format directly of. I will have that in the description for you guys. If you have questions, I highly recommend you take a look at our Discord. There's a lot of helpful guys that are always willing to help out, help you figure out syntax, whatever it is that you guys are struggling with. I cannot heavily recommend joining my Discord enough if you guys are struggling. But I hope you guys enjoyed and found this informative.